Okay, okay, I was wrong. That video I made a couple weeks ago about my theory for this season of Always Sunny was, well, wrong. It was debunked in, like, the first episode. I feel quite ashamed of myself, but I shouldn't feel ashamed too much. And here's why. Now, some people are complaining about this episode. They said that it wasn't that funny and that they hated uh, Mindy. And, okay, you missed the point of the episode if those are your complaints. And we'll get to that. First off, I will say I was sort of right. Dennis wasn't going anywhere. This group has prided itself on not changing for 13 years. Like, you cannot get the gang to become better or do better. Uh, where most sitcoms, their lives improve and then kind of backtrack and then improve. And, you know, you're going for some great end and everything. Uh, uh, Always Sunny is not that kind of a show. Which is why it's able to last so long. So much longer than other sitcoms. Because other sitcoms will fall into these tropes of like, let's push D and Matt together. Uh, or let's, uh, you know, Dennis goes off into something better. Charlie gets the waitress. Tropes exist in other sitcoms and Always Sunny steers clear of that. Because it's always a group of just degenerate awful people. And they will always be degenerate, awful people. And that's the charm of the show. So the fact that Dennis was going to choose family life over the gang while all of 12th season was pushing towards that direction, he didn't. And I want to see more of what happened. So this episode should have been called The Gang Trolls Its Fans. The whole Dennis isn't coming back situation was a huge setup. It was a setup for this joke on us, the viewers. And this is why my theory was wrong, because the whole setup, even the way they did the trailer, was to confuse and distract us. They pulled a classic gang heist here, uh, classic Always Sunny, but instead of doing it on anyone in the show, it was on us, the viewers. Now, everyone flipped out thinking that, oh, Always Sunny can't be the same without Dennis. And... Uh, I thought, oh well, yeah, it could, uh, but I guess the show doesn't think it can either, because that was the moral of this episode. And if in case you didn't get it, here's what it is. The gang cannot function without any member of the group. You know, everyone always talks about like, oh, well, you know, if so-and-so left, it would be fine. You know, my, my, theory, my thing is, if Frank left, the gang would still be the gang, because the gang was the gang before Frank. But he's been with them so long that... I'm probably wrong in saying that. They probably couldn't go back to being how they were beforehand. So that's the, this is the moral here. That the gang cannot exist. That they're still doing their heist. They're still, you know, making fun of everyone. They're still screwing over people. But it feels wrong. They're succeeding, first off, is the... Oh, first thing that's wrong about it is they're actually succeeding. And whenever the group succeeds... They screw themselves over, and this is what they tried to do in the show. So, so with Dennis being gone in this episode, everything felt kind of off. Even Frank says, I feel like we're forcing it. And that's a very important line because it's breaking the fourth wall. That it, They're not just forcing the schemes and plans. The show feels like it's forcing itself without all the gang there. And that's why if you didn't think it was that funny, that's the point. It's not supposed to be as funny without him. It's supposed to feel forced. It's supposed to feel off. It's supposed to feel that something's not right. And it's not cool to be like, oh, Mindy sucks. It's her fault. No, it was written this way. It was specifically written so it feels forced and off. And yeah, she wouldn't have been a good fit for the show regardless, but she is a good writer. So that's why I'm saying that this this whole thing was the gang trolls its fans. Because they trolled us, they made us think that Dennis wasn't going to be around when he was, and they got us all to buy into this thing. And in the first episode, they uh, threw that loop in there. So it'd be interesting to see what happened. Uh, when he went with that family of his, and uh, it's going to be interesting to see what happens going forward. Uh, but it seems to be the moral of the story is that without the whole gang, the gang can't exist, uh, which is kind of nice in its own way. Also, I just wanted to do one quick thing, and some people were upset uh, that the show has gotten political. 
And like, did it though? Did it? No, it didn't. Not really. Now, this is what happened. I saw uh, the Always Sunny uh, page posted a quote from the show, and it's some pun that uh, Mac was trying to do um, about conservatives and whining. Now, if you watch the show, you know that they had just screwed over a bunch of liberals, and now they're getting ready to screw over conservatives. So, A, they are screwing over both sides. They're playing both sides. You get the joke. Um, so. That's not getting political. That's making a joke that's at the expense of both sides. Just some people got so upset that they saw just some conserv, you know, making fun of conservatives when, oh my gosh, no, it was making fun of liberals just before that in the show. Now, also, if your problem with the show is that it's gotten political, as I have seen uh, people say about this episode, which again, you're dumb if you think that. And, um, the the gang turns black episode which you would be right to say that that got really social and political but to say that the show is jumping the shark because it's doing that that's dumb because the show's been like talking about political and social things since its very first season these themes have always been in the show it's satirical you need to understand that it's not like it's a new random thing they've been doing this since day one so i <laughs> It's always been there, and sometimes it might fly over some people's heads, and other times people get it, and other times people are going to get upset. That's just what this, you know, how this kind of stuff goes. But the, it's not a new thing for Always Sunny. They've been doing it since season one. Um, and again, they weren't, you didn't even get political. They made fun of both liberals and conservatives in that episode, so don't complain unless you are a whiner. Anyway, that's all I got to say. We all got trolled. Um... My uh, other video that's still getting views is BS. Don't go watch that anymore. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Why? Why are people still watching? It actually helps my channel and gives me more watch time. But no, it's it's outdated. It makes me look like an idiot. I'm not gonna take it down though. Um, so yeah, I hope everyone liked the first season. I'm excited for the new season. Uh, more excited now that Dennis is actually back because I thought they were going to do the whole let's replace him and. I'm kind of glad that they're not going that route. Anyway, I've been talking for a really long time. This video is not going to be as long as I've been talking. I'm looking down there. I'm like, oh, that's way too long to talk for a video. But anyway, what are your thoughts on the first episode? I want to see what your thoughts were. And uh, if I don't like them, I will argue with you. Uh, probably not. That's not a good way to run a channel. Um, but maybe it will be. Uh, so please, you know, let me hear your thoughts. See what's happening. By the time this is out, season uh, episode two will be out. Uh, so, yeah. Stay sexy, everyone. I, there was a great theory in my last uh, video that someone posted in the comments that, like, maybe he killed uh, the girl he went off with and now he's back to kill the gang. Okay, we all know that Dennis is a psychopath, but I don't think he's going to do that personally. Um, but uh, who knows what's coming?